Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shield. In the last part, we dis we got rid of the uh, we um where are we? Over in Winden. I thought we were Moto Stoke there for a while. In the last part, we pretty much took care of the inconvenience that is like the plot segment of this game. <laughs> Sorry, but that's what I'm gonna call it because like it almost feels like, as I say, it's just there to be there, you know. I don't think it's very artfully and or or cohesively uh, incorporated into the into the flow of the game. I think that's the fairest way to say it because I'm not going to say that it's like shit, you know, because it could be like, oh now Team Yeller cheering for me. Yeah, everyone loves me. I'm a jerk and everyone loves me. I've got anchor arms. But um it's just kind of like, as I say, um, extremely sloppily, uh, ex extremely sloppily done f in in terms of how, as I say, in terms of how it's incorporated into the flow of the game. Do I just like go on to the pitch here now? Is that what I do? By the way, I put like um, the French kiss in front because I kind of want to take advantage of uh, of stealth rock. Apparently, I don't just head onto the pitch anymore. I thought Leon was going to be waiting here for me. Maybe I have to talk to you again? Yeah, that's what- I was already down there, asshole. <sighs> Why I have to get into this ridiculous regalia? Um, so yeah, I put French Kiss in front in order to be able to take advantage of Stealth Rock if I can, so... Hopefully things go well against Leon. As you as you saw with other battles, this late stage in the game, except Chairman Rose, they they like they can really give you a run for your money, especially people like Hop that actually have a diverse team, and like Leon's team, as far as I remember, is kind of like Hop's in that it's very diverse and has a good range of powerful Pokemon. So my matches are always sold out, but this never seen a crowd this wild. They're all here to watch me, Leon. Mr. 67. Mr. 7th Heaven. That's what they should call me. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Harry. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gala region. No one's even talking about Hop, and he's the one who actually did it. It's hilarious. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the gracious of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Harry. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. A match that will change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolutely champion time. Yeah, it is champion time. Time to battle the champion. Time to become the champion. You're the one who's gonna be eating dirt, Leon. I'll be shoving your face into the dirt and you and, and I'll be like, like it, like it. And he'll be there with like tears coming out of his eyes, like his mouth full of like grass and dirt. <laughs> what an image. Whoa, okay. Take it all off. Oh this. It's like the worst thing I could be fighting with French kiss. I don't think I have any attack that's gonna be good against Well crunch actually, at least. One of the duties of the champion to get the crowd fired up. Here we are. Okay, so I guess, like, as I say, my main mission is to get Stealth Rock going, so... Well, what's that gonna do? Yeah, I don't care. Well, this still this will still work, so whatever. But yeah, I forgot I have Crunch, which is really good. Maybe I'll just be able to take it out, especially since, as I say, it's so handy that Steel doesn't resist dark anymore, you know? If I could even flinch it, that'd be nice. <laughs> this is such good music, by the way. Like, oh, the, all the music in this game. This is bad, though, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> just as I thought. It's alright. I, I, French case, you achieve what I wanted you to achieve. I might even, like, I might even revive you if I have the chance. That'd be good. Um, but, uh, I think Courgette can take, take this one. 
What I might do is actually take the opportunity that Courgette's resistance against steel type attacks to just revive the French Kiss, because to be honest, um, I uh, I would have liked to have um, the French Kiss almost for his final Pokemon. Really. You do the stance change. You can dance, you can dance. Everybody look at your stance. Yeah, look, I pretty much got a free turn there. Give him the Pyro Ball. Courgette. Oh, I remember when we set off on this journey together. I saved you from the orphanage. Saved you from the orphanage of Doom with Leon or whatever. Go Courgette. Yeah, I think I, I, I think that was like a good play. I'll have like uh, the French Kiss in stock for, for later on to Haxorus. Um, let me think. I suppose Speedwagon, you know, why not? I feel like though that, um, as far as I remember, um, Leon does have some good counters. Like, his, his team is quite well balanced. I haven't, like, looked at, like, what it is or anything, but as far as I remember, he does have a well balanced team which counters what, um, which counters what, uh, you normally would have. So yeah, the, the Stealth Rock already helping us out. Yeah, Earthquake, just like I thought. This is probably just going to kill me outright. Poor Speedwagon, no! And the Mold Breaker comes in as well. So what do we do against him now? I suppose, um... I don't want to use Homer, because Homer is kind of like good and uh, good for diversity, you know? But I don't think I'm going to have a choice, am I? I suppose I can use the slab. This music is so good, like, sorry, I say that, like, every episode, but, like, this game, as I said, like, in comparison to, like, Sword and in comparison to, like, Sun and Moon, this game has amazing music, you know? Outrage. At least I have the defense to be able to take it. It's weird that Mold Breaker... Well, no, Mold Breaker is weird, isn't it? Like, Mold Breaker seems to work randomly. Like, on paper, what it does is it, uh... Oh my god, this is gonna take ages. Any of these battles with Wandering Spirit, as well as, like, Mold Breaker just has to announce it every single time as well, you know? Um... The, uh... Mold Breaker, like, on paper, what it says is that it ignores enemy abilities or something. Yeah, poor the slab. At least now Haxorus has Wandering Spirit, I don't have to worry about Mold Breaker anymore. But I don't think it really, it, does, it doesn't work in the same way as, let's say, um... Do you know what I'm gonna use Courgette and Zen Headbutt? And, and hopefully I'll get another opportunity to be able to revive, um, revive Speedwagon, actually. Should I have done that now? I don't know. That did not do that much. Oh, don't take my Blaze. That's really bad. Well, no, I don't think he has any Fire-type attacks, so it should be okay. This thing is, like, literally, like, taking out my entire team. Now it's confused, at least. This might be like a good opportunity to um, max revive Speedwagon. Because what I can at least do, like worst case scenario, this Pokemon isn't very fast. If... Oh, that's bad. Oh yeah, I forgot that it had that. Worst case scenario, I can probably bring in the French Kiss and just like revenge kill. Seriously, this is, like, becoming a major, like, stumbling block. Like I said, like, Leon is no joke, and his Pokémon are of, like, quite a... Like, look, this thing's level 63, I think, like... Um... Like, I think the, uh... How is it faster than me? Why are you faster than me? <sighs> Thank you. Oh, I missed as well. How is this thing faster than I am? That's insane! Thank you! Oh my god! Please hit it! Oh my god! Leon is like pushing me through my paces. I'm after. I'm having to like max revive everything. I max revive the slab. 
I guess, because at least I'll, if I get managed to get Earthquake off, I'll be able to do something. Oh my god, like this thing is just like obliterating me. But I like this, like again, like I, I like being put to the test like this. Is it worth like banking on Homer to, you know? I think I'll like go for the easy option. I'll use the slab. I'll, I'll hope that, because when it's, like, Outrage is probably its most powerful attack, and that didn't kill me the last time. Yeah, so, as long as I'm able to get off Earthquake, and as long as it wasn't a, uh, a critical hit. I'm still confused about how it was faster than the French Kiss, that's, like, very strange to me, because I never thought of Haxorus as being, like, a fast Pokémon, even though, um... Even though technically I don't have very much experience of it in the first place, to be to be perfectly honest. Dragapult, that's not great either. Um, Speedwagon is probably the best one I have for this. But again, I, I think he probably has a counter against me. My being a fairy-type Pokémon. And I'm a little bit, like, not under levels, like, I'm five levels under him, which is probably what's giving me the healthy challenge here. So, um, the one thing is I'm not going to be faster than this thing. Shadow Ball, like, that's... No, that's okay. It's not super effective, at least, but... Reducing my special defense isn't nice. Like, look, I'm just, like, I'm not steamrolling him like I'm used to steamrolling Pokemon. Yeah, you used a full restore. If I could, like, confuse him, I'd be, like, really happy about that. And he's getting, like, extremely lucky. Like, getting lucky with, like, hitting with Iron Tail is one thing. Um, but getting lucky with reducing my special defense with Shadow Ball is, is a whole other one. Like, I think this will technically kill me now just because of the, uh... Yeah. I might actually lose this, like, could you imagine? I'm having to, like, bring in, like, Empire here. And the problem is, like, I can't even take, um... I can't even take the time to, uh... I I'm going to, though. I'm going to take the time to, to revive at least, like, the French Kiss and, um, and, uh... Yeah, Shadow Ball is okay, I can deal with that. I, I think. Oh god, okay. Well, do you know what, Empire? You're just going to be like sacri the, the sacrificial lamb here. Because I need to get Courgette back. Because I think, like, the, the problem is, is like, I need fast Pokemon. Fast Pokemon that can hit hard. And that's Courgette, and it's, uh. And it's, um, the French Kiss. If I, like, I should be faster than this thing, I hope I am. And just be able to get Crunch off and take him out. At least, like, he used his full restore. It's very rare for any trainer. Oh my god, it's so fast. I thought you were faster than this, uh, French Kiss. <laughs> Thankfully, that was enough to take that thing out. Jesus. Oh my god. So what's next? Inteleon. Okay, that's quite bad. I suppose Homer. What I'll do is I'll send out Homer. Or do I send out the slab? So how many Pokemon has he used so far? He's used Haxorus, Dragapult, Aegislash. So he probably has three left. So Inteleon, something, and Charizard. So I doubt there's anything I'm going to need the slab for anymore. Because I'm not going to use it to fight Charizard. I'm not going to use it to fight Inteleon. So what I'd like to do is bring out the slab as a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> Poor slab is the sacrificial lamb, but... Because um, I don't think there's anything on his team I'm going to want the slab for. And I'm going to max revive um, Empire here. Because at least then he takes out uh, the slab, I send out Empire. Yeah, here we go, the snipe shot. Yeah. 
think the last time I was this, like, I think the only other time, like, a championship battle has put me under pressure like this is, like, the, um, is when I did, like, the Pikachu solo run, like, the Gary battle where he starts with Sand Slash. I think that's literally the only time I've ever been under the same pressure with this. What does that even do? My attack fell and special attack fell. That's not great either. But if I paralyze him with this, that would be extremely desirable. No. Leon has all the luck today. He's just gonna keep doing that. I should have taken the opportunity to heal um, French Kiss, but maybe I'll do that on his next Pokemon. Whatever it is. Watch his next Pokemon be like something intensely scary now. Metagross, or, well no, Metagross wasn't in it till the Crown Tundra, so... Poor Speedwagon's losing out on all this experience. Mr. Rhyme? It's Rhyme time, baby! Um, switch Pokemon or not? I'm gonna keep my current Pokemon. Because this shouldn't be like a, a real... I don't... Look, I'm not even gonna say it. I was gonna say this thing isn't going to be that much of a challenge. But I think that Empire should be good enough, at least for me, to be able to have the opportunity to heal the French Kiss, Freeze Dry. See, I have the advantage of Steel Typing, at least. Like, that was still, like, extremely powerful. Flash Cannon. At least I'm faster than it. I always get, like, um, taken aback by how fast, uh... Um, Duraludon seems to be, like, very unexpected. Okay. Poor Homer hasn't even got a chance to do anything yet. I'm gonna use Courgette here. And at least then... Yeah, if I use Courgette here... Are, like, the eyes on his body blinking? Sorry, I just thought I saw the eyes on his body blink. The, uh... The Mr. Rhyme. I was just gonna say, if you miss, like, the, I think it's like a 5% chance to miss, if you miss in this one, then my luck really is in the toilet for this battle. I seem to, like, once we got past that, um, that Haxorus, oh my god, here's the Charizard, so this is where, like, Stealth Rock would really pay dividends, I think, is in this one. Once we got past that Haxorus, and, well, Dragapult was also a bit of a challenge, but... Oh my god, like, they were just... That Haxorus was brutal. We got you on the ropes now, Leon. Even though I had to, like, cheese it with, like, literally, I think, about four max revives. Like, look, that's the benefit of Stealth Rock now. We're finally going to see a giant dog. Zacian and Zamazenta think they're where it's at. The French kiss, you're gonna get a big French kiss off of me, Leon. So this means that he's faster than I am. And I'm not sure whether it has a counter to rock type Pokemon. Probably has a counter to water type, but maybe not rock. And the Gigantamax Charizard is pretty cool. It literally just looks like a freaking scary, intimidating monster version of Charizard. But we've got a giant dog. It's almost like the Toriko wolf. What's the... I can't even remember what the wolf's name is. Oh, Max Over... Oh, that's bad. It probably knows Solar Beam, so... Oh, thankfully that didn't kill me. Well done, French Kiss. Like, I, like, I'm actually proud of you for withstanding that, because that was probably... Well, I don't know what it was, I actually. I know Charizard can learn Solar Beam, but I don't know what that was, actually. We did it all, everybody. He, like, Leon had us... Leon came at us with his pants down. We managed to get him back on the ropes. Finished up with a French Kiss. There we go. Just get all the innuendos out of the way here. Get a level up for your troubles. Poor Ho Homer just sat on the bench for that one. He was probably happy to do so, the lazy bastard. Speedwagon. 
you did a good job. The Slab, you did a good job. Empire did a good job. Courgette did a good job. You're a good girl, French Kiss. You did a good job. And we're the new champion. Yeah, you hide your face in shame. We whip up a sandstorm into the barrack, and here he's like posing, showing us his cake in the sandstorm. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. 15,600, what an odd number of amount of money to win. A number of money. Well, there it is, folks. I hope you had a champion time. Excuse me, is something going to happen now? Did the game just freeze or something? Or is it just like taking 5 million years to load? Oh, I was like worried there. I'm getting scared like like I did like the triangle strategy demo and the game froze on me. This battle I tried to win three times and failed at three times. And the one time I was winning the game froze on me. So You've beat even the unbeatable champion making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first rate trainer alright. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Look, there I am. The world's gonna know my name. They're gonna put me in the Hall of Fame. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. See, I told you. Made him so happy to be defeated by someone who deserved it. Aw, oh, Bede and Marnie, my two other beloved rivals. We're gonna create a future that, that's worth fighting for. A new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Harry. That's me. I'm the baby, gotta love me. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. Don't touch me, please. <laughs> and that's the end. In, f in sparkling firework festival firework fashion, that's the end of the main storyline of um, Let's Play Pokemon Shield, so... Now it's time for the, the, the crazy end scene, which this is like the ending of Zootopia or whatever, Zootropolis or whatever it's called. I can never remember what it's called where. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, I suppose we do like the, the, the melancholy end of LP speech here while the credits run. I like that the credits are freaking fast because they go by nice and quickly. Um, we just have this band of two toxtricity and a rillaboom while Obstagoon is singing. Like what does that even sound like? It's like... Rah, rah, rah. It's like the, the, the Team Chaotix thing or whatever. Team Attack, Team Blast. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this LP. It's not over yet. There's still quite a ways to go, okay? Um, but I think I'm so delighted that this is the LP that I got to return to LPing for, with. Um, and I'm so delighted that I've been able to, with a couple of interruptions, just keep it going and, and keep invested in it. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, the, the Pokemon games, they always just make me happy to LP them, you know, I think it's my thing, it's my jam, you know. Where does it go next? Um, I'm gonna stick with this one to, to close it out, so there's a couple of things that still need to be done. Um, I need to finish off the Isle of Armor, um, there's just like, a, I just maybe about two videos worth of stuff left to do and then we'll be finished there. There's a Crown Tundra, which... It's a big place, there's there's stuff to do, but a lot of it is kind of very fast. There's a story part that you need- There's someone there called Guts. Sorry, did you see that? Um, there's um... He's a Guts man. The uh... There's stuff to do, like there's a storyline, but it goes quite quickly. Um, there are some like legendary Pokémon to catch there, but again, that's all stuff that we can do quite quickly, you know? Um... There's like the Dynamax Adventure, um, or Max Raid Adventure, or whatever it's called, which I'd like to show off. Um, there's all, and then there's like a post game to Pokemon Shield that I'd like to show off as well. So, but once we do that, we're pretty much done, really, you know. So I'm, I mean, this was like part, 
I'm guessing, like, this, like, third video I'm recording today, and yeah, they are longer videos, but, um... So yeah, the, this would be part, like, 57 or 8 or something, I think 57. So I'm guessing there's probably, yeah, probably about, like, 20 videos left in this one, I think. If I'm, be if I'm being, like, somewhat conservative, because we have, like, about two videos left in the Isle of Armor. Crown Tundra will probably take like 15 videos or something like that, you know? Um, and then just about 5 to allow for the post-game Pokemon Sheet. You know, it's 20-something parts, I think, so... There's still quite a bit to go on this one, or about two-thirds of the way through, so... Um, I'll probably do some stuff offline, um, or, or just off-camera, or off-screen, or whatever we want to call it. Get my Pokemon's levels up, you know, do some of the do some of the Dynamax, um, the Max Raids or whatever, just so that I have the Dynamax candy, because what I need is, I need to get that Dynamax candy as well, so I can um, up the, increase the Dynamax levels of my Pokemon. Um, and then, um, and then be just ready to take it on, you know, because the Crown Tundra, like the rest of the game, they expect you to be like in your level 70s, and you know, especially the post-game, like the post-game, of the main storyline, like, puts you through your paces in terms of the battles as well. Wooloo, oh my god. <sighs> that was unexpected. And then there's the last one. Do you know what that's like? It's like that rhino. It's like in Jumanji, there's that one rhino that's always, like, at the end, like, separate from the rest of the stampede, and they just show it, like, sadly, like, walking along, but... Yeah, that's it. The end of, uh... Well, not the end of Let's Play Pokemon Shield, but the end of the main game. We could, like, hop right back in here. Um, what it'll do now is, since we beat the championship, it'll show us posing with our winning team. So, Duraludon, otherwise known as Empire, Speedwagon, Courgette, the French Kiss, the Slab, and poor Homer. He's, like, intentionally obscured by the logo because he, uh, he, he, uh, he, sat, he sat that battle out on the bench, so... What's happening here? <laughs> Just like randomly shows us that, um, and here we end up back in our um, back in our bedroom where it all began. So with a cool Eevee poster, um, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play Pokemon Shield. I will see you next time when we kick off. I suppose we'll head straight to the Isle of Armor, really, um, to finish that off. Thank you for watching. It's been a fantastic LP. Thank you for being here. Thank you for welcoming me back. After not LPing for over a year. Um, yeah, I'm delighted to be here. I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye now.